first thing we want to do is transfer this brand over. It's kind of a simple brand set up in the middle. I want to give it a little something. We're going to add this kind of decorative ring around the brand in the middle here. So we have a relatively symmetrical design here. We aren't making this uh, any more custom. We're not adding in any kind of specific flowers, you know, uh, cowboy, nothing like that. This is just gonna be solid florals. So right here, I'm just kind of drawing our main key lines of flow we're gonna have. Kind of what I'm thinking about the direction of all this stuff we have going here. I don't know if I wanna make it uh, symmetrical. I think that would be cool, but at the same time, I think we can give them better than symmetrical. So I like doing these kind of scrolls with a little ball at the end because you get to do a lot of cool kind of tricks and having things interweave like you can see here. I can kind of feed something up into it like this give it kind of three dimensions with layers on top of each other kind of interwoven okay so i'll be straight up with youtube this started out kind of rocky <laughs> so down in here i wanted to do some flowers to kind of fill this corner in it's kind of an awkward base so that's what these kind of semicircles are so we'll kind of draw on the framework of a flower there you know maybe draw on the framework of a flower here okay we'll deal with the finer details when we come back Some people make, you know, comments about how I don't do like Sheridan tooling, which I never once claimed to do Sheridan. <laughs> but, you know, I gotta be honest, I kinda really like my floral style. Like, don't get me wrong, it's probably not the most effective way to like draw up floral and kind of do floral tooling. Because you can see I have a lot of like, you know, where I go back and you know, reline things or re-smooth curves and whatnot. But to me, I enjoy this. It, like it really ensures that kind of like every piece is kind of unique. Like I would kind of let every piece of floral speak to me. I don't go in with some, you know, traditional kind of like formula, but that's why I think the people who do like my, my floral style uh, like it as much as they do because it is different. I don't know. I mean, I grew up <clears throat> in my early years trying to learn how to do Sheridan tooling, Sheridan floral style, and I just kind of got over it. Like, it, it's got a soft spot in my heart for sure, but it's just the same formula. I think that there's a difference between having a style that's maybe like recognizable. Cause I mean, I think every good artist, you know, their kind of their style is recognizable or you can, you know, pick their stuff out of a crowd, but at the same time, some people, I feel like their tooling just looks the same on every piece. Like there's a difference between having a style and like having a formula where it's just like, like rinse, recycle, repeat, you know? Which I mean, sometimes I struggle with that too, you know what I mean? You can only do so many skull and rose pieces without having to like really kind of go out of your way to try and make them unique, but I do my best. Like currently, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just letting it run, like I'm just running it. But that's the fun thing. I kind of like to, not that I like to back myself in a corner per se, but like kind of make myself have to like, kind of make these weird swoops and then make myself figure out how to fill in the space and kind of work with these kind of out of the box shapes instead of doing, you know, a big circle here and a circle, like instead of doing nine circles throughout the whole thing, it's like, I like to give myself, I don't wanna call it a challenge because I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, I challenge myself. 
intentionally. Like I, I it's just the style that I kind of like to do. It um, can be challenging to try and figure out, you know, how to make certain shapes fit into different places or how I need to have this curl of this leaf, you know, do what I want it to do. So here's what we got. Our first side is done. Um, I still haven't really decided whether I'm gonna bring it around or if I'm gonna come up from the other side, but I'm gonna take a sip of some coffee, take a breather for half a second, stare at this thing and figure it out. So I think I'm gonna continue the circle. I kind of have this like, all right, flow here. Can I come in, kind of do a loop like this, and then come out again, and come into this zone. Just most likely what I'm gonna have to do. Basically we're gonna shoot for a circle here, also another kind of a looping circle in this zone. You can see I got like a lot of like interwoven kind of loops over on this side. This kind of comes in loops in here. So I think I'm gonna kind of do the same diagonal because we want a good balance. We don't want to do double loops in this section. So we're gonna do something kind of similar to this where we kind of interlock some swirls together. I just don't necessarily know how I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna happen. Now the only real thing I got left is kind of to set my borders. So you can see some spots I don't really have borders like here and some spots I do like here on the flowers. Um, it's partially because I like to have kind of a mix of borders and no borders kind of depending on the specific situation. This is what we got so far. Now it looks super messy. There's like a ton of sketch lines over here. You know, this kind of some of the spots that are 3D that overlap each other, um, they're kind of muddy and whatnot. You see me carve everything, you'll really get to see that um, although it looks messy, it's gonna end up super, super nice. But I kind of like the messy, kind of sketchy type of technique because when I come back with a swivel knife, that's gonna help me sculpt these lines even better. As you could see, I mean, I drew everything kind of at random to kind of work all together. For example, like this flower right here looks a little crazy, but when I go back with the swivel knife, it's gonna look a lot cleaner. You know, when you do traditional Sheridan with the circle, 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 it's kind of a lot easier to follow. I'm not saying that it's necessarily an easier style um, because it's its own kind of, it's got its own challenges and stuff, but, when you do, you know, circle, 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 everything kind of makes more sense. And it's kind of easier to go with the flow. But with my kind of sketchier style, I always am in like a constant state of trying to kind of mold lines and stuff. You'll, you mean you saw in the beginning of the video where I kind of had this coming out like right here. 
And then as I kind of finished up this top chunk, I was like, you know what? I think we should really bring it down into this zone, which then helps this whole thing flow a lot better. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and carve this really quick and show you guys the finished product.